Yes, yes. Has Fanti returned? Yuko wriggles a bow and laughter in fit, in spite of the fact that no one is nearby. possesses you, I'd imagine that's how being inhabited by a ghost is supposed to feel. Is it really supposed to be like this? Uh, okay then, I, I'll do my best to be strong! <laughs> Fanti, don't pick on this Missy too much now, you hear? No promises. Oh, by the way, I don't think Fanti's doing it on purpose, but after it's done exploring... Sometimes it comes back right away, but sometimes it takes a really, really long time. Why does that happen? Hmm, since ancient times, the soul has been said to have a different sense of time than the living. Oh, so that's how it works. Well, enough about that. Fanti is over there bored out of its mind. <laughs> you do well to keep it occupied. If you keep lollygagging about, it might end up eating your soul. What? <laughs> we'll make the ointment tomorrow. It's too late in the day for that now. Right, got it. Well, good night, Madam Granny. Yes, yes. Good night to you too. Huh? Nachi? Nachi is feeding a little bird. Come on. Eat up. Oh, you fed chicken meat for me. Thank you, Nachi. The windbag has you taken care of this bird, right? Did she say why? Well, I tend to oversleep, so she's supposed to wake me up. What do you think? Isn't she cute? On the off chance bird brain stuffing her face here has the smallest semblance of intelligence. What do you think she'd say? Huh? A witch isn't a witch without her freedom. Witch or not, it isn't right to live your life in a cage. Eh? What do you mean? <sighs> I'm going to sleep. Night. With those words, Nachi buries herself in Eureka's bed as though it's her own. Oh, I'll go to bed now, too. Huh? What do you think you're doing? I was thinking that I want my bed back. The hell? <laughs> Oh, fine, fine, I get it. I'll drag my sickly self out of here then. W wait I only need one side. No point in letting a warm bed go to waste. I'll kick you off the bed if you move. Night. <laughs> Got it! Good night, Nachi. What did you mean earlier, anyway? When you were talking about the cage and stuff? Nothing. Try using your bird brain to figure it out. Hey, you there, kid! Don't just gawk there. Bring some food and water. An iron cage hangs from the large tree, and inside a large man flares it down a patch. Who'd give you anything, stupid? You're just a criminal. <sighs> Got some guts, talking to me like that. I'm starting to like you, kid. <clears throat> By the way, I got a royal guard crest here. Wanna see? Now, when I say royal guard, I mean the highest class of knights, even in the capital. The men among men. <laughs> like you'd be one of them. Yeah, you got me. 
I'm not currently a knight, much less a noble. But this armband is the real deal. Well, suppose it's not something a sissy who pees his pants would be interested in anyway. You want to bet on that? Patch, don't! Stay away from him! Come on, don't you want to see it? You'll never get another chance like this. Man in the cage extends his arms through the iron bars and hoist Patch up. Get your grimy hands off me! P Patch! Wise up, you little shit! You shouldn't be so rude to your elders. Now listen carefully. The name's Hans. I got nabbed over a little misunderstanding, but these arms prove I'm a man among men. Uh, a real man wouldn't do this. Massive man named Hans slaps Patch, but who could ever do such a thing to a child? L leave Patch alone! Uh. Hans uh, slaps Patch again, not once but twice. <laughs> What's wrong? Where are your precious knights now? They gonna save you? Make no mistake. You're the only one who can save yourself now. And to do that, you need to be strong. Got it, kid? Men gotta be strong. Then we're free to do what we want. <laughs> if you're a real man, then you better quit crying! Without strength, you can't hunt your prey. You can't protect your stuff, and you can't lord over the people who piss you off. A real man doesn't romance chicks. He forces them to become his property. Got it? Might makes right. At the end of the day, the strong rule and the weak drool. If you got no strength, nobles will bully you, squeezing you dry until you're dead. That's it. You want that? <laughs> At least you got the guts to defy me, and that's definitely something. With all that said, Hans with this patch tossed him to the ground. Patch! Are you okay? I only say this because I think you have the makings of a real man. Got it? <laughs> Just do what I say, and I'll teach you how to get stronger. I... I can be strong like you? Yeah, but first, get me some food and water. Then I'll teach you how to hunt. O okay, I'll try. Sheesh. It's nothing to cry about, kid. Bring that stuff and I'll make you a killer bow. Forget rabbits. It'll down a deer with a single shot. R really? Yeah. So go get the stuff. But wait till night. Don't let any adults catch you. Uh, huh? <laughs> what are you looking at, punk? What? I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> You're so loud. Did you have a nightmare or something? Sort of. But it felt so real. Ku was trying to threaten me. Uh, it's morning already? Oh no! I gotta get up so I can make lunch for Fanti. This early in the morning? You and that bird are so freaking noisy. Mika puts on her clothes and jumps out of bed as she uh, cheeks at the birdcage. Thank goodness! Chicken meat! You're alive! Ugh, shut up, shut up! I'm gonna toss that bird in the trash next time you're not around. No, no! You can't! Chicken meat has finally warmed up to me! Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 
Sense an intense power from this curio. Seems likely to be a cure de art. I'm gonna head back and report to the witch. Welcome back, Fanti! Thanks for all your hard work! Wow, 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 wow! That makes five, right? Yes, but be careful not to touch it. Give it here, quickly. Madmata uses the catalog obscure to praise the curio that Fanti brought back. Yes, there's no mistake. This is a curio de art. Ooh, fascinating. It seems you can suppress this one's curse by wrapping it in three layers of hemp fabric. Smoke weed every day. Mm, the grimy darkness. Well, whatever it's called. Something about that amorphous space bothers me. Really? Why? Aren't the curio hidden there because it's harder to get in? That is true, I suppose. Anyway, I'll study this curio de art before we report its discovery to the Count. Let's make the gout ointment first. Lord Norton eagerly awaits, after all. There. All finished. Given how complicated it was, I'm concerned there may be side effects. Eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> so even Madam Granny gets worried, huh? Of course I do. Nothing certain in our line of work. Oh, my lord! Your arrival is timely indeed. Good day, madam. Have you found the fifth curio de art yet? My, my, how impatient. We have a general idea of its whereabouts, but as you know, the road is growing more treacherous. Asking won't make them any easier to find. Things rarely go according to plan. Well, I suppose you have a point. But you must admit, your pace has slowed. But, but Madam Granny and Fanti are working really hard. I'm sure we'll find it soon. Hmm. I'm suddenly concerned that the bonuses I paid you thus far have had a detrimental effect on your exploration progress. Not to mention, your performance has been subpar since Lord Norton's arrival. Now, now. I finished making Lord Norton's gout salve. I'm sure he'll be on his way if it works. But it's best to mention that this is a remedy, not a cure. It's only meant to numb the pain. It won't do anything about the underlying issue, but it should help with the day-to-day. -day. However, it must be tested before. Yes, yes, but Lord Norton has been groaning in pain all morning due to a sudden onset. Give that to me. Count Bismarck practically snatches the cell before leaving in a rush. Grief. Paragon of patience, that man. Lord oh, Norton is lying in his bed. It looks like the pain went away after using the ointment you brought. He's asleep now. I see. That's good to hear. Forgive me. I've been looking after him all night, but I still have some things to take care of at home. May I take my leave for today? I've allowed you certain freedoms since you have child. But I do hope you realize it's part of your duties to tend to Lord Norton. Very well. You may go home for the day. I understand. I'll leave after I finish cleaning up the kitchen. Oh. Lord Norton should be able to return to the capital after this. Good work. By the way, my lord, there's something I want to talk to you about. I'm actually hoping to bring another witch on board. She's young, but extremely capable. I'm sure she'll be useful to your goal. Yes, I'm aware of whom you speak. We've already met, you see. Huh? Is that right? I suppose that saves us the introductions. 
As long as it'll speed up the progress, I give you my formal consent. But I do expect you to consult me beforehand in the future. No second chances. I guess you heard, eh, Fanti? Let's get things on our end moving, too. Huh? I've never met the Count before. But from what he said, it sounded like he knew about you. Well, I do wander around at night from time to time. So I guess he could have seen me then. But we've never met. Not directly, at least. I know that for sure. The only time we could have met was that time in the storeroom. But, but even Madame Granny said he should have been out that day. What should we do, Yuri? There's definitely something weird about him. You know that story about the kid that went missing? That's fishy too. This place was supposed to be abandoned. What was a kid even doing here? What if the Count used that kid to test out the wardrobe? The man-eating wardrobe! And so many people on the expedition team died too. That's not normal either. What they used to call him? Count Cannibal or something? C calm down, Nachi! I think the story about the missing child was just about a noble that stopped and took a rest at the manor. Count Bismont doesn't seem like a bad person. Yeah, right. The guy's obsessed with the curio, but he doesn't even use them for anything. He just leaves them lying around. Uh, that's because Madame Granny said we'd need them to conquer the Labyrinth. Are you sure that's how collectors really are? Don't they usually fawn over the stuff they're collecting before locking them up? But Count Bismont didn't seem upset. He even gave permission for you to help. Let's just try talking to him. S screw that! I don't have anything to do with your exploration. No way in hell am I going. Uh, please calm down, Nachi. L let's just turn in for today, okay? <laughs> we can think over everything in the morning after a good night's rest. <laughs> it's so nice and cozy when you're sharing a bed. <sighs> Wrong, wrong, wrong! How many times do I have to say it before you get it? Don't look for the sound. Aww. Uh, I'm sorry. Calm down, dear. Don't yell at her! This child has no sense for music. She hasn't an iota of talent. But she received an award at the music festival. You know how hard she's been working. The fact she had to work so hard for what is basically a participation trophy, only proves how talentless she is. Why can't she be more like her brother? Don't compare them. I think she's doing great. Besides, how can you expect her to play like him when she's a girl? Her gender doesn't matter, but if you're going to insist that it does, then why didn't you give me another son? Well, it's too late for all that now, isn't it? Now gets mother threw everything on the table, compote and all, onto the floor. Uh, mother! It's okay. I'll work harder. I love practicing. <laughs> what do you think, Margaret? It's a new piano. Huh? You bought another one? We can't afford this. Even paying to have the other one tuned is too much for us. No! You're off tempo! It's too fast! <laughs> I... I'm sorry. What's so funny? If you aren't going to take this seriously, you might as well leave! Uh, okay. Yuri's... gonna do her best. This isn't about doing your best. It's about doing it right. And enough with this Eureka nonsense. Your name is Margaret. I got this. 
Eureka is repeating Eureka to herself in a small voice. What are you mumbling about now? <sighs> Enough. Is this girl truly my daughter? What's the matter? My, my lord. Madame Arca left this letter behind. <gasps> good, good morning, Nachi. Oh, it's unusual for you to be up before I am. <coughs> huh? Do you have a cold, Nachi? I've been feeling sick all morning. Someone was hogging the blanket. Eh? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Forget that. Why are you crying? Huh? I... I wonder why. Maybe because I was yawning. What? Well, if you're okay, then whatever. Yeah, yeah! Let's work hard today, too! Navy and Monster of the Witchy are watches you in a cold gaze. Suddenly lets out a shrill cry and yet another monster from the Labyrinth's Deaths appears. You're being summoned by the Avian Monster's cry that monster attacks your party. Are you ready? Let's go! Time for the dono! Ha! Focus! Da. Oh no! Yeah! Yeah! After you! Die! Pathetic! Wide open! I see! Yeah! You little... Time for the dono! Ha. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wide open. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Okay. I know she's a chew toy, but <laughs> Here I come. Yeah. Be gone. Yeah. Yo, it's dead, huh? Take care. Yeah. Okay, Sharp or Kuroi? Who's gonna kill it? Huh. I'll make it hurt. 
Whoa. I guess that's payback. <laughs> that was quick. Only 4k, though. I have to defeat the monster. Probably leaves the area. Hmm. Hmm. Mahogany. Because I'm so shadow, it's no monster. But you be. I'm very busy. See, you must make very little thing from what goes on in each box. It just help me explore itself. Just gotten by the labyrinth. Per you wish to know something about this place? No way. Now it's actually helping a no in top. This will scold me for spilling secrets. My master is powerful. My master is quite amazing. Look, I'm very busy. Have this and be gone. Now it tosses a soul pack to you and screws away. Got him. Hmm. Huh. There's an inscription in the Butch Letters, covered in the door, emanating with a solemn aura. Looks like there's a strong seal here. When I close the button, you find there are strange complex symbols on the door surface. This is the key to breaking the seal. It doesn't seem like something you can manage to head back and seek the witch's advice. Maybe a monster with a witchy aura watches you in a cold gaze. Suddenly, lets out a shrill cry to know the monster from the blood of that appears. Being summoned by the avian monsters cry that monster attacks your party. Hey, oh boy. Here I go! Fight! Time for the donut! We. Uh.
Looks like that's done with. You somehow managed to see the monster. Party leaves the area. Huh. An item voice echoes with the labyrinth. Is someone there? Intruder? Huh. I knew it. No matter if he made it this far, then eventually. You don't hear the man's voice again. Since the strange power emanating from the bird gate pass that you obtained, you turn back into Port Theater Rich. Well, welcome back! Thanks for working hard, Fanti! Oh, what's this? It's not a curio. Huh? This small box isn't a curio? Yes. It looks like a trick box, not a curio. It's a kind of box-shaped puzzle. I've heard that some of the harder ones can't be solved even if a group of academics were to work on them for a year straight. A, a whole year? What? what do we do? Edamata begins chanting some kind of spell as she fiddles with the box and when... Puzzle starts to move on its own, making it little clicks and cracks as it solves itself. Now this is magic. Incredible. Here. How's that? Uh, amazing! Incredible! This is magic, right, Madam Granny? Oh, there's something inside. It looks like... a key? Judging by the size, I'd guess it's a key to a door somewhere in the labyrinth. Do you recall seeing any? Doors... Doors... Hmm... Was there a locked door somewhere? I feel like there was, but... What if there wasn't? You did say it's getting difficult for you to see underground. This does make it harder on us. It looks like we have no choice but to check everywhere. But there's too much ground to cover. Where do we start looking? What are you waiting for, Missy? Could you pull out that dowsing pendulum of yours to check? S sure! I'll give it a try! Hmm... It seems like it's in... the antechamber? And in the first part, too. But I might have missed it. Sorry. There are more and more places I can't see. Nothing to be sorry for. We've already explored around 80% of the labyrinth. Now it really feels like we're getting close to the end. Fancy. let's put our faith in the little Missy and focus on the antechamber. Uh, um, Madam Granny? This isn't related to the exploration, but... What's wrong? Why are you doing this? Nachi told me the other day that I don't know anything about you. <laughs> well, this is out of the blue. But if you're asking why I'm working here, it's for the same reason you are. Once I'm done with this, I can secure a tidy little nest egg from Count Bismont and retire somewhere nice and quiet. Man does not live on bread alone, you know. Sometimes it's nice to have cake around. Speaking of, have you been able to send money home without any trouble? Yes, but... <coughs> M Madam Granny, are you okay? Yes. I've just been feeling a little under the weather lately. Don't worry about it. It's just my old age. The wear and tear is nothing new. Please rest! I'll get you some water! Oh, I'm all right now. And the Count is in a rush. I I'll have Nachi help with the expedition. 
The two of us can handle it. Uh, I've gotten the hang of this, too. You really should rest, Madam Granny. <laughs> Your parents must have raised you well, Missy. I'm envious. I wish I had children myself. <laughs> Madam Granny! Uh, I'll go get some water. Please lie down. Hold on. I'm all right. To tell you the truth, I was already planning on handing off the exploration to the two of you. Oh, is it time already? <sighs> Looks like we'll have to hurry. Lovely to see you again, my dear madam. My, my, what brings you here today, Queen Duvalier? I came to express my sincerest thanks, madam, as well as to make a request. We must thank you for your help the other day. Ever since, His Majesty has expressed interest in Her Highness, and... Indeed, and I have you to thank. I'm pleased to hear that. <laughs> Tell me, Miss Eureka. As someone who hasn't even hit 20 yet, am I pleasing to the eye? Y yes You're gorgeous, ma'am! My lady, Miss Eureka is still young. Such topics may be a bit inappropriate. Even children should know how the world works. At the end of the day, a woman needs to use every weapon in her arsenal. Her very life hinges on her ability to find a capable man. The earlier she learns this, the better. Girls don't like love stories for the fun of it. They're looking for tips on how to claim a capable husband for themselves. Do you understand? You mean like... being beautiful? Oh, that's not it at all. This is the perfect time to impart a valuable lesson upon you, Miss Eureka. Do you know what a woman's weapons are? Weapons? So... like... beauty? Not quite. The standards of beauty are not objective. One weapon might be how lovable a woman is, for example. Lovable? Like... smiling a lot? Yes, it's also known as charm. Other weapons also include youthfulness, or how she performs in bed. Bed? My lady... Besides that, well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> These are all you need. Believe me when I say looks aren't everything. I clawed my way from rags to riches, after all. Madam, I, I implore you to please stop. Okay. You've become awfully loose-lipped ever since you entered into your little fling. Huh? I... um... You won't believe this, my dear. But the identity of her lover? It's that reporter. What? R really? I had no idea! Y yes um... I'm so sorry. Not to mention... M my lady, I'm not certain yet, please. Oh, so that's how it is, hmm? My congratulations, Miss K. Don't worry. I'll introduce you to a good doctor. By the way, Madam Witch, is Count Bismarck home today? No, he's not in at the moment. Oh, but Lord Norton still happens to be here, I take it? Yes. He wasn't able to sleep last night because of his gout. But he's sleeping soundly now. Is that right? If you don't mind, we'll wait until he wakes up. I have some wine with me since I'm on my way back from the estate. Kay, go fetch a few bottles. Goodness, it doesn't seem like we'll be having any peace and quiet around here. I'll be taking my leave now. You get some rest, too. Huh? Me? I'm okay, Madam Granny. I, I can still work. I get the feeling you haven't been sleeping well. 
<laughs> there are bags under your eyes. It's the Count! Go from this side, Ro. If I go in from that side, it'll be a pincer operation. We can't do that here, Patch. What if we get caught? What are you talking about? It's not a knight's expedition without any danger. Where are your guts? <sighs> Patch. <sighs> oh, hello there. What's wrong? Are you hungry? I wonder, is this what it'll feel like to hold my own child? Uh-oh. Should I really be having a child? Do I even have the right to bear one? Okay, crumples into heap to, on the ground. I... I'm sorry. I... I am so sorry. <sighs> Are you awake, Lord Norton? Oh, Miss Kay! How are you feeling? Much better, thanks to the ointment Madam Witch gave me. But I'm still a little dazed. Is that right? Well, now that your symptoms have settled down... What's the matter? Do you have something to ask me? Yes, um, I haven't been to a doctor yet, but... Oh! You're with child? What excellent news! I was hoping to ask if you would be willing to name the child. What an honor! Come, come! Let me meet the little one. Oh no, he his hand on Katie's stomach. Mm. I see. I have a feeling. No, there's no doubt this is a boy. I can't say why, but I feel very certain. Let's see. Hmm. What do you picture when you think of an outstanding person? Hmm. An outstanding person? Perhaps a saint? No. A saint, eh? Wouldn't it be better if you named him after someone close to you? Perhaps someone right next to you? Huh? Does that mean... You're willing to offer your own name for my child, Lord Norton? <laughs> That's right. If you don't mind, I will name this child after myself. Th thank you so much. I can't believe you'd grant us your own name. It's truly an honor. Oh, now, now. You needn't thank me for this. No, really. Thank you, Lord Norton. I'm sure he'll be happy that you've named our child. Oh, if you don't mind me asking, who might the lucky gentleman be, Miss Kay? Uh, where are my manners? I'm sure you remember Tomas, the reporter from the Daily Cartier. He was here before. Oh, is that right? He's the father of your child. Lord Norton? Is something the matter? No, no, nothing at all. Right. So that's who it is. Uh, yes. I... I'm still in a bit of pain. Ow! You have to forgive me. But please, let me rest quietly for a moment. Yes, sir. I'll visit you again with Tomas. So please, take care. I think I felt a little kick just now. He looked down and something is in surprise. <gasps> what? He clutches her abdomen as she crumples. Here you are, Grin. Ah! Thank you for carrying me all this way. You're a good man. Surprisingly. <laughs> Don't mention. As long as I pretend I'm carrying some game. You ain't heavy at all. How about I treat you to a drink for your trouble? We have some delicious wine. Right. But the Count? 
I heard the guy's got a stick up his ass. <laughs> he won't be back until tonight. Here, don't worry about it. Just come in. You've got to listen to your elders, young man. No greater honor than I can walk back with her highness. Are you sure about this? Our very meeting must be fate itself. Drink up. Let the festivities begin. <laughs> You've got Lady Luck on your side. Not everyone gets to drink with a queen consort. <laughs> it looks like I owe you one, Grin. I'll treat you to a ton of fresh venison. My, are you a hunter? <laughs> I'm not just a hunter. I'm a, uh, a first-class hunter. You could call me a hunter among the hunters. Please, till they locked me up, I was carrying my spear on the main road when some carriage drove by. Happened to be some rich guys, so they got me for a disrespect. Oh my, how terribly unfortunate. I was thinking about what I was gonna do to this noble bastard, but you know, if a queen's this fun, maybe this country's all right. Sorry to interrupt, but I'll be leaving. You be sure to head home before the Count gets back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know my place. Don't worry about me. <coughs> hey, you all right, Gran? You need me to carry you back to your room or something? No, don't mind me. I'm fine. Please do be sure to tell me if there's any way I can be of assistance, madam. <sighs> oh! It's evening already! Uh. Oh, miss! You're awake. Everyone went home already. Even Miss Kay and Lord Norton? Yes, they left with Her Highness just a short while ago after he woke up. Count Bismont hasn't come back yet, but I'll be leaving for the day. So, please heat up your dinner for yourself. Oh, okay. Thank you, Miss Toba. It feels so quiet now that everyone's gone. Hey, Granny! Granny! What? 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 You're so noisy, sheesh! And what are you two doing here? M Madam Granny! I'm so glad! I was so worried! <laughs> <laughs> I was only a bit tired. I've been working myself to the bone lately. But this is the perfect opportunity for me to ask the Count for a few days off. Can you two take care of things while I'm away? You sure about that? He's getting impatient. Well, I don't expect him to tell me to run myself ragged. Yeah. Okay. I understand! Please get lots and lots of rest, Madam Granny! Fanti Nachi and I will take care of everything! What? Why me? Yes, it'll be very helpful if you did it. I don't think there are any major obstacles left in the labyrinth anyway. I told you this morning, but I'd estimate we're about 80% done. Maybe even 90. But something else has been bothering me. I'll be looking into it during my time off. I just want to mull over everything that's gone on. That will take some time. That being said, I think a true break will only come after we've found the sixth one. Hmm. Easier said than done. Yeah, yeah, so I've got a couple more places to explore. How about it, Missy? What does your dowsing pendulum say? Yuriko holds up her pendulum and starts muttering it quietly. It's a little weak, but I think we should be able to find it right away. It might be in that 
irregular place again. Is that right? Oh, hmm. that's good. With the proper training, you might have made a decent witch. M me? A witch? That's right. Didn't I tell you? That power of yours is a witch's talent. That being said, people that have those abilities aren't exactly rare. <sighs> I almost forgot. There's a letter for you, Missy. Count Bismont had one, too. I took the liberty of reading his, and I suspect yours is the same. Here, look it over later. Now, how about we search for that sixth curio de art? Hurry up, Fanti! Let this old bag of bones get some well deserved rest. Fanti, please take this. It's your lunch. Work hard for Madam Granny. Sense intense power from the curio. It's probably a curio yard. Head back and report to the rich. <laughs> 